One of the biggest trends in product photography to date is flat lay photography. It's an excellent way to aesthetically showcase your products to your potential customers. And in fact, we've seen big companies like Apple, H&M, and eBay use flat lay photography for their social media images or website banners. And there is a way to make them for your product images without doing an actual flat lay shoot. Hello friends, welcome back to Life Marketing. In this channel, we aim to help small businesses grow. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create quality flat lay photography style images for your products using Canva. Since we're doing a photo manipulation today, you will need to have quality front facing images of your product. You don't need expensive photography equipment to achieve this. And we do have a previous video on how to make quality product shots using your phone, if you want to check that out. And circle back to this guide once you have your front facing product shots. Without further delay, let's get started. So let's start by setting up a canvas here on Canva. For this guide, I'm making our images for social media posts, so I'm sticking to the one by one ratio. Click on create a design, custom dimensions, and type 1080 by 1080 pixels. Of course, you might be making your flat lays for different purposes, so the size will vary on what you'll use your flat lay photography for. If you're going to be using your image for a Facebook banner or a website banner, you're better off setting up the canvas to the actual dimensions of what you'll be using your image for, rather than making a single size flat lay photography image and cropping it to serve different purposes. For this guide, I'm using our mock brand Coffee Cat, as we have in previous videos, which is a brand that sells coffee beans. At this point, you should have your own product images ready in a folder to be imported into Canva. Once we've loaded our images in, we can go ahead and start designing. When it comes to designing flat lay photography, it's important to tell the story of your product, and you should always base its surroundings on what you can associate your products with the most. In this case, that would be coffee beans, cakes, cookies, sandwiches. It also helps to look at Pinterest for inspiration. Once we've found a few reference images we like, we can go ahead and make similar setups with our product. So I like the sample here, and I think I'll make something similar with our product with coffee beans as the element repeating on its sides. Starting with the background, I'm typing in colored paper and selecting a color that fits well with our brand. Now I'll add in my product image and set it up in the center. Now we also want our product to cast a shadow. For this image, I want the light source to be coming from the bottom part of the image, so the shadow will be directed to the top part of our image. You can create object shadows in Canva by doing this. Duplicate your subject image and send it to the back of your canvas. You can do this by right-clicking it and selecting Send to Back or using shortcut keys and position it to where you want your shadow to be. Click Edit Image here. Here, then click see all here in adjustments then set your brightness to negative 100 your contrast to 100 your saturation to negative 100 then set your blur to a level that you like for your shadow then click on this transparency icon here at the top right and set your shadow transparency to what you feel fits your flat lay setup best this will depend on multiple factors like your background texture the level of saturation in your image among other factors then we can go ahead and add surrounding coffee beans by by going to the elements tab and clicking on elements. Now if this were an actual shoot, the coffee beans would definitely cast a shadow the same direction and in the same intensity as our primary subject, but done through Canva, there's a chance we might overwhelm the image with synthetic shadows if we add shadows to each and every individual bean here. So I feel like this is a good stopping point for this image. As a bonus, because we made this in Canva, we do have the option to export this not just as an image. We can also select a preset animation for the canvas and save it as an mp4 file. Let's make another one. I saw this image in Pinterest where the product is laid out diagonally, and I kind of want to follow that but also want to make changes. I'm going to start with setting up the background. I kind of want to have a wooden table as the main background but also a little bit of textured paper on the top right side where I can place my brand logo. So I just added two background grids that will be the containers for my two background images. I recommend adding grids to contain your image if you have more than one background to add to any design in Canva. Let me just go ahead and adjust this till I'm happy with the setup. Okay, now we can proceed to adding our products. Then I'll be adding shadows to each product. Now I'm going to add additional objects to our flat lay. Let me see if we can find a top view of a coffee cup. Okay, I like this one. I'll then rotate it so that the shadow here at the cup is going to the same direction as the shadows I placed under our products. Now I want to add a plate with cookies, starting with a plate and then the cookies. 
If at any point you feel that the object doesn't quite fit with the rest of your image, you can go ahead and go to the adjustment controls and edit the saturation, hue, contrast, and other settings of that specific object. Okay, now I'm going to add shadows to the cookies and as well as the plate. After some final adjustments on the overall look, this is done. Here's our flat lay number two. Now you can also search for flat lay images here in Canva and add your product directly to that flat lay image. Just make sure you match your product shadow with the direction of the shadows of the other objects from the original flat lay photograph you're using. It's important to note that Canva was not made with advanced photo manipulation in mind, and Canva's strength is in how it gives you the ability to make graphics for different purposes, all without leaving their website or app. So definitely keep that in mind, and don't make anything too complex that would push your composed flat lay to look fake. Photoshop is definitely still king when it comes to advanced photo manipulation because we'd have better control of shadows, we can distort elements however we want, set up realistic lighting overlay, film grain, the possibilities are endless. The downside, although, being that it'll take much longer to compose our image and the process will be much more complex than what we just did in Canva. Both applications have their pros and cons. But if you do want to see how to make a flat lay photography style image using Photoshop, let us know by leaving a comment on this video. That is it for today's guide, friends. What products are you selling? And are you planning on making flat lay photography images using Canva for them? Let us know down in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something from it and subscribe to our channel for more essential digital marketing guides. This is Jelly from Life Marketing and I'll see you in the next one.